Hey guys, it's me, Magic the Joker from Kingdom 1343, and I'm going to make this video on why my account is so successful. This might seem like a humble brag, I suppose, or a large flex, but I mean, overall, people will, will pop into the stream all the time, or they'll pop into the Discord, or they'll pop into YouTube, and they'll dusk. How did I do this? What are some tips I can give? What What is the difference between me and the average player, and how can they emulate that? So I... You know, I've, I've got four uh, larger topics that I'm going to flesh out here. Uh, the first is going to be goals. Um, this game, if you're playing it as a free-to-play player, uh, mirrors uh, a game called RuneScape, if you guys have ever heard of it. It is an incredibly grindy game that its, it's entire purpose is to be grindy. Um, it's not particularly beautiful. The story itself isn't necessarily compelling, but the people who play it, the audience, are so so nice and welcoming that it is a game that a lot of people find uh, fun in. So in RuneScape, uh, because it is so grindy, it is not necessarily the grind is obviously terrible, but you set a system of goals to get there so you don't burn yourself out and you don't get bored with the game. I think the the biggest thing to realize with Rise of Kingdoms is that a lot of people play the game and they don't necessarily have goals. So uh, as soon as I made some content on YouTube, I realized that I wanted to be T5. And so I set a goal for myself at 300 days, regardless of, of how many people told me I couldn't do it or how many people told me it was unreasonable, blah, 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 blah. I set the goal and that was my large overarching goal. Past that, I had smaller goals. I wanted to be, uh, I wanted to have decent commanders because, you know, everybody would tell me my commanders would be shit, right? So on my way to T5, I wanted to have at least one expertise commanders and maybe a couple others piecemealed on my way there. I wanted to be active a certain amount of hours per day. And I wanted to have a certain amount of supplies after I got it. So whether that be a KVK skin, whether it be a continent skin, I, I wanted to make sure that I did it myself and no one could discredit me for anything that I did. And not everybody has to have a goal like that. Obviously, it's, that's a wide overarching goal. But I mean, you know, whether your goal is is F2P T5 in a year or low spender T5 in a year, or mid spender T5 in, in six months, like however you see it, like you need to have a goal for yourself so you know where you're going, why you're playing. Um, I, you know, if you're playing to hit 50 million kills, that's a goal in itself, but you just need to have a goal to move forward to. The second point here is optimization. Uh, I, I feel like at this game, like a, a lot of other freemium games that are gotcha games, are very impulsive. Okay, you are people are very, very impulsive when they play this game. Before you make a decision uh, that's using universals or using speed ups or putting XP or using stars, like you, you just need to stop. Stop before your decisions are made and you need to think of three things. You need to think, do most people do this? What does Reddit, Discord, what do the content creators think? And is this intuitive? So do most people do this? You know, uh, for example, two years ago, common knowledge dictated 5111 your Richard. So back then everybody was 5111 in the Richard. Back before it was common knowledge, that damage taken reduced by, aka damage reduction, is additive, right? So Richard's second skill is by far wildly important on him. And you need this if you're going to use him. However, this wasn't common knowledge at the time. So most people may have done it. You may have saved people from going one, 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 one Richard and running out into the open field, but they didn't save everybody from five, one, one, one Richard. However, you would have saved yourself from destroying your legendary off top if you just saw what most people did. Now, the second thing you gotta look at is what does Reddit, Discord, what do your content creators think? If your content creators, if one of them is telling you to 5111, or two of them, or three of them, you know, maybe you wanna look in different spots. You wanna see who is going to not only tell you why you should do something, but explain how you should do it, and why for you specifically, it's the right move. So, some people spend a lot of money. They perhaps want to fully expertise Richard, perhaps 5511 is not enough for them because it wouldn't make any sense because they spend too much money, right? It's not one size fits all advice for everybody. However, when you give advice or you receive advice for a specific person, it is significantly better than do most people do this. Although that's where you start, that's not where you should finish. So, you know, ask on Reddit, uh, the official Rise of Kingdoms Discord channel, your favorite content creators uh, Discord, and your content creators videos in general, uh, usually they'll specify what it's important for. You know, uh, are all content creators, did they all have the same level of information? No, but you know, you're, you're checking from multiple sources to make sure you don't mess up because if you mess something up in Rise of Kingdoms, 
it is permanent unless you're, you know, shelling out a lot of money. And the third thing you want to think of is this intuitive. So intuitively, if you look at Richard, his fourth skill sucks. Okay, this, it's ass, right? So if you only care about his first three skills and his expertise is, yeah, it's okay, right? But it's not crazy. His first two skills are really good. His third skill is really good. So you want these three skills. You don't know what the sculpture to value ratio is. So then you would go out to ask it, right? If somebody tells you five, one, 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 you're Richard and you say, well, hey, his second skill is really good. Why should I do that? And they give you really bad advice. It's up to you to think of the advice and say, is this intuitive? Like intuitively, does this make sense? Or if it doesn't make sense, was their explanation good enough for me to do this? So moving on to the next topic, uh, we're going to be looking at activity. Activity is absolutely massive uh, with the success of an account. And you know, it's, it's not just activity in your account alone. There's something called multi-instancing. So if you play on Bluestacks or Knox, maybe LD player, Bluestacks specifically, I'm pretty sure Knox also has it, uh, where they, they have very specific things that let you pull up multiple instances. So you could play on four farms simultaneously without having to switch through your accounts. That is something that anybody can do. It makes uh, taking care of accounts, farm accounts specifically, less arduous. And really you only have to log in once or twice a day. So you throw up the multi install, you send them out to gather. Six hours later, maybe you do the same thing again. And it's done. You, you, you have a ton of resources. Resources are no, no longer an issue. You should never be concerned about resources because you have multi instances. The second thing is gem gathering. Uh, I see a lot of people just gathering resources straight and it doesn't make any sense. Even during, for example, take the Korea event, take the Japan event, okay? These events, gathering resources for these events doesn't make any sense unless you're like under uh, CH24, okay? Because the resources you gather for these events, the rewards you get for gathering resources don't matter compared to what you could be gathering in terms of gems, right? Unless you're going to sleep and you're, you're throwing some, some guys into resources, it doesn't matter. You should always be gathering gems and gathering resources with your secondary account. Accounts, you know, you have a multi-instance, maybe you got like four or five. I know people that juggle quite a lot. Um, really, you only need like one to three, but realistically, you should always be gathering gems. I mean, there's no particular reason why you shouldn't be. And the third thing I wanted to add is barb chaining. I guess I, I live in this bubble where I talk to people only in, you know, Discord or Reddit and, you know, they, everybody knows what barb chaining is, right? But as I've gone from kingdom to kingdom, this is my third kingdom in 1343 and I started out in 1628. So I have seen a, a vast number of people who just have no fucking idea what barb chaining is and their accounts are like two years old. There are a lot of people that will look at your goals and consider them unrealistic or you look at your account and consider it unrealistic for free to play because they have no idea what they should actually be doing. So for example, barb chaining is when you take one character and you attack a barb and then you pull the barb to another barb with its AOE and you get both of the barbarian's resources for the AP that took to kill the first barb. You can do this theoretically unlimited amounts of time uh, with a Richard YSG, uh, which is one of the reasons why they're so important to get and barb chaining is so good for your account. I actually took first place in an event almost exclusively with barb chaining speedups. So this really transforms your account. It's, it's, it's a ton of resources. Every 20 barbs you kill is about 1 million tokens in resources, you know, in, in food ratio. And so if you're killing like thousands of barbs for no AP, you're just getting millions of resources, a ton of XP, you're getting a ton of gems, a ton of speed ups. Like it, it doesn't, it's infinite value. It's value for activity. So if you are active on the game, like, like you're just sitting here staring at the game, you should be barb chaining. You'll absolutely smash it. And it's one of the things that turns activity into account progress and why I'm so far. You know, if you're, if people will tell me they're spending like four plus hours on the day on this game, and if you're doing so, you better be barb chaining or I, I actually don't know what you're doing. And that is why uh, my account is so successful. And your account could also be as successful. You just have to have goals. You have to remember to optimize your account, ask people about what's going on and if you should be doing something. And you have to make sure to be active. And if you are active, make sure that your activity is efficient. Make sure you're not just sitting here staring at the screen. Make sure that things are going down, you're spending your AP, yada, yada, yada. But I mean, it's not, I didn't have any, any secret technique to how I moved my account forward. I just made sure to get as much knowledge as I possibly could from as many people as I could, and then you know, make sure that I could think everything through. Have a great one, guys, and I hope this helped.